Hi there, superstars. Have you guys seen that recent study on your blood type and your risk for COVID-19? Well, this fascinating study came out showing that folks that had type A blood had more high-risk complications of COVID-19 than the other blood types. I found this interesting. I've done a lot of work with power typing and trying to help people match their makeup to their personality, their genetics, their chemistry, their diet, all this other good stuff. But I wasn't the first to do that. Actually, Dr. Diamato did the blood type diet way back in the 70s. And as this new information has come out on blood typing and what it means for your health risk, I found it interesting to go back and compare what we're learning now to what we knew back then. Well, the new studies coming out talked about how blood type A had the weakest immune systems compared to the other blood types. Remember, there are four key blood types. There's A, there's B, there's AB, and then there's O, I'm an O. And in Wuhan, where the virus, as we all know, originated, about 31% of the population was type A, about 24% was type B, and then 9%, the least amount, was type AB, which we think is actually a newer blood type, and 34% is type O, like myself. Now, the study found that type A's had a harder time and have weaker immune systems, similar to the work in the blood type diet, which found that type A's do have a weaker immune system and were more sensitive to lectins, which is something that Dr. Gundry talks about. And if you listen to the episode of Superwoman Wellness that we did with him, he talks all about that in, in there about Dr. Diamato's work in the blood type diet and his thought on lectins, but it's blood type A that seems to have the biggest challenge with it. The recommendations for blood type A then were to eat the following, to eat fruits, veggies, tofu, seafood, turkey, avoid all other meats because these folks really had low stomach acid. Interesting to see the correlation. So type A, weaker immune systems, it looks like lower stomach acids, does better not eating meat. And we know the gut and the immune system are incredibly connected. As, as many of you know, if you've been watching along. All right, moving on, blood type B in the blood type diet, no corn, buckwheat, wheat, uh, lentils, tomatoes, peanuts, and sesame seeds were the foods there that were recommended to be avoided for those particular reasons. Type AB was emerged between the two and did seem to also have the low stomach acid of type A, therefore should kind of avoid that or should kind of follow that type A diet. But they found that type AB, like type Bs, were very sensitive to caffeine and alcohol and should not be consuming a whole lot of that. Type O's, on the other hand, very different, had a big problem with grains. You know, my story, I'm gluten-free, don't tolerate grains, well, gain weight in about five seconds, quarantine 15, hello, as I am now eating more grains than I probably should be. But anyhow, type O's should be focused more on meat, uh, veggies, fish, and they have a tendency to stress and really internalizing their emotions and overproducing catecholamines or the stress hormones. So I found all of this super interesting when it comes to COVID-19, type O's actually have the lowest risk. So a lot of this is now connecting gut health to your immune system and your immune system, as we've been talking about these last few weeks, is tied directly to your response to COVID-19 and to the risk of the complications that you'll have from the virus. So anyhow, if you don't know your blood type, it might be a good time to find out. It might be a good time to alter your diet or at least pay attention to your gut health because remember, the gut is ground zero for our entire immune system. Interesting research coming out. There are more studies coming out all the time. We'll try to stay on top of it. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay well, stay super powered, and we'll talk soon.